interesting to find out um, the people in our world that like sports because it's used you know usually for the most part we start doing this to get away from the jocks and I think it's interesting to see like you know these musicians that you know are usually running away from that culture to like actually accept that culture the good parts of it at least I used to not talk about it at all and anytime anybody would want to ask questions like yeah you know ask me that during baseball season talking about people that live this major league lifestyle, travel on planes, uh, you know, four-star, five-star hotels. So when I try to explain to them about being in a van and, and traveling in Europe or sleeping on a floor, there's zero uh, comprehension of that. I'm sure you must have seen Major League before, but Major League is about uh, a group of a bunch of fuck-ups, you know, a, a bunch of fuck-ups who were terrible ball players who deserve none of the success that they later achieve in the end of the movie. I, I feel like humans in general, we want to root on failures because we see failure, we see ourselves and, and other people that fuck up. Baseball is a game where doing something right 30% of the time, and only 30% of the time is pretty damn good. The baseball is hard, it's very hard. How many times do you watch a game, it's just someone shaking their head, you know, just because they couldn't get, couldn't catch up to that fastball or they couldn't, you know, get that pitch over. It's just all about failing. If you're going to devote yourself to creating art and to some sort of creative skill, you have the same drive and focus that a professional athlete does. You're choosing willfully to make music that runs against the grain, that is often tackling things that nobody wants to hear about in a style that's not popular. I mean, you're, you're basically asking to fail. Sometimes I get up on a stage and I'm just not there. It doesn't read, it doesn't land. There's just some random college kid looking at me with, like I have three heads because I'm transsexual talking about my feelings. You're constantly fighting with the possibility that nobody wants to hear you, nobody wants to listen to you, nobody wants to book you. And that, that doesn't necessarily prevent a band from stopping. I don't think you ever accept failure. You just learn how to deal with it. And you pull into a venue and there's, you know, 22 paying customers. Does it suck? Yeah, it sucks, but those 22 people are having the time of their life and they want to be there, so you deal with it. I think about players who are stuck in AAA and they're getting like almost up there and then can't quite break into the main scene. I feel for people who put all the work in their heart into something that still can't get recognized for it. That fucking sucks. You, you can have a sense of camaraderie with your team but also you still have to step into the batter's box on your own and do something on your own. So it, it kind of lends itself to the way that we're brought up or the way that we as punks view our society. It's like we have to go, if we want to see change, we have to go do it. A lot of my friends are these like queer punks who were mostly really hurt and alienated by sports and saw sports as a kind of jock thing that was part of this toxic masculinity that was put upon them. And I feel so much sympathy for them. And like, I don't blame anybody hating a multi-million dollar spectacle industry. There are socially conscious people who enjoy sports and want to be in that environment as well, but still know that they're going to come up against the rigid hetero-capitalist patriarchy that built you know, a lot of those institutions. I think it is actually really important to unlearn like shitty sports fan behavior. Do you know what I mean? Like certain sports teams logos, just shitty, you know, misogynistic or homophobic behavior that can happen in sports uh, like stadiums among the crowd. I think it's really important to kind of stand up and, and like be like, hey, I'm a person who is like progressive and cares about society, but also fucking loves baseball. 
punk can sometimes be loud and angry and abrasive music. It can also be soft, delicate. And what makes something punk ultimately comes down to whether the people doing it call them call it punk or not. They have the same uh, message. They have the same ideology, which is that there is inequality and unfairness in the world that we want to solve. When I was five, I was king of the yard, and my grandfather said I had one hell of an arm. I remember learning his split finger fastball and the tails he would stretch with that famous Turner. I guess there are similarities where, you know, you're just kind of, you're waiting for the action. Things can be mellow and all of a sudden you bust into a song that's, you know, three times the speed and everything's going off. Uh, baseball can be quiet for six, seven innings. All of a sudden a guy could get a base hit and a home run all within three, four pitches. About the time him and Mickey Mantle drank all night long, spinning yarns of all the former glory. There's a lot of parallels between baseball and punk. There's a lot of parallels between the two because, you know, so much of the disappointment in America and so much of uh, America's triumphs uh, can really be reflected in both punk and, and, and in baseball. I feel like baseball is more open to like how the world is becoming than other sports are initially. Baseball is usually the first ones to do it, you know, and I, I don't, and I feel like, you know, our little underground punk world is more inclined to accept stuff like that than like, you know, perhaps a giant, you know, giant rock and roll world or country or Taylor Swift world or whatever. Not to say Taylor Swift is, is, is bad, I love Taylor Swift. It, it helps us place, you know, where we used to be and, and where we are now and the shifts and, you know, the major changes it took to get to the point where we are. The players, you know, want to, you know, make a public statement the fans, largely the white fan base, gets all pissed off when it's like, oh man, I can't believe they're talking about race. It's like, they're black people. <laughs> Anytime there's like any sort of like civil rights movement of any sort of a group or class in America, you know, baseball is usually the first one to take that on. Baseball will, in my mind, will 100% have the first female athlete. 100%. I'll bet my arm on it. There could be more integration on the field, but it's much better than it was. I really think the domestic uh, violence policy is great. I think they're making strides to really kind of to modernize in places where they should be modernized. As far as like opening up to um, LGBTQ communities with everything that they've done with Billy Bean, he's going like team to team and he's talking to those guys about um, being more inclusive and accepting. You know, no other sport has that. You know, they're still running dudes out of the locker room in football about that. In baseball, it's like, all right, here's a guy that is in charge of making sure these players feel welcome. It's a parallel to society as society's like slowly opening that door. I think baseball is doing the same. I wouldn't say that baseball is at the cusp of it or at the forefront. both those kinds of things where they were pretty perfect. You know, it was just a stroke of luck where, you know, you catch lightning in a bottle and, and baseball is invented, you know, and, and punk is the same. It was great from the get-go. You know, rehashing the same four chord structure, just sort of reliving itself in a cycle. And in a lot of ways, you know, baseball is like completely unchanged. It doesn't feel like anything in baseball could be new, but then something insane happens. And then, and then music is the same way. It doesn't feel like necessarily there could be anything new. And then you're like, I can't believe this exists. The whole reason why sports are able to be such a public industry is because of the incredible and underappreciation work that producers and videographers are doing within sports to make it this kind of beautiful thing. Baseball needs art in a way that other sports might not. Art is there to record and you know, take these emotions that people are having and kind of um, configure them and reconfigure them into these artistic expressions so that, that they can be digested and more importantly, you know, remembered. And that's the reason that art exists in the first place, is, is to be able to comment on the misery and the sadness and the triumph and the glory and the beauty and 
the sadness and such. And so, you know, that's, that's really the entire reason we do anything. It's the reason we play baseball. It's the reason we play music. We are using these ideologies to try to make art together. We are using these patterns. We don't understand them or we do understand them. Either way, we use them. Um, we play. We continue to play and use these ideas as best we can in a cold, senseless world um, for something to rally around. She was just a kid in 64, but remembers her dad cursing at the same old radio. Now they fall, like it's the only thing they know. They're in the streets, and the dives you can feel it. A while back in the stands, swing and miss, you can hear it. These seasons are new, zero love. But we fear it